Hello. This morning I would like to show you a little demonstration or display that you can do. Uh, it involves uh, food coloring and gelatin solution. Uh, yesterday I got some Knox gelatin, dissolved one package in a cup of water, uh, hot water, and uh, after I dissolved it I put a small layer on the bottom, uh, added one drop of blue dye, mixed it up, put it in the refrigerator for uh, several hours, then I put another layer of the gelatin solution without any dye in it, and put that in the refrigerator for a few hours, and then I added uh, a third layer uh, with uh, about two or three drops of the yellow dye and put that in the refrigerator. And I took it out uh, this morning and you can see the separation of the blue dye on the bottom and the yellow dye on the top. And over time these uh, dye molecules will diffuse uh, toward each other from high concentration to lower concentration. And uh, it's a slow process. Uh, very often students think that the fusion is much faster than it is because if you put a dye in solution it'll seem to move around pretty quickly. But there's a lot of convection currents that make it appear that the fusion is faster than it is. Well here's another solution that I uh, did several weeks ago and you can see the dyes have moved uh, considerably but they certainly haven't mixed thoroughly by any means yet. Uh, this was just kept out in the room. It was not refrigerated once I took it out. But uh, the observation of the slow diffusion of the dyes toward one another and the um, appearance of a, a green color in between, blue and yellow make green, is a nice uh, display that students can look at over a period of weeks to observe what happens when molecules diffuse toward one another. So I hope you can use this uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.